My name is Elizabeth Higgins, but my maiden name is Elizabeth Mansager. My name is Carolyn Mansager. My name is John Bernard Mansager. And my parents were Francis Mansager and John Mansager. And uh, my mom, Francis Mansager's maiden name was Temple. My parents were John and Francis Mansager. My parents are John Mansager and Francis Mansager. My parents are both deceased. Uh, my father was um, a grocer, had a general store in a little town where I grew up. Trium well, it was Triumph in Monterey. And then in the 1960, they changed it to Trimont. So we had only one post office and one name. My mother was a, well, I have actually, when you say mother, my, my real mother died when I was an infant, so I don't know much about her except what my older brother has told me. She grew up on a farm um, in mountain, near Mountain Lake and was a hairdresser. So my father remarried a woman when I was about four, and that's really when I think of mother, a lot of times that's who I think. She was a very interesting person. She didn't get married until she was 40. And she did have a son, my brother John. And she was very proud of the fact that she managed the women's department in a department store in Jackson, Minnesota. And her fondest memory was being able to go on a visit to St. Louis to learn how to fit corsets on women. So she was the expert in Jackson if you needed a new corset. I think the earliest memory of Christmas that I have was driving to Minnesota through a snowstorm to get to Christmas. And I'm really not sure what year it was, um, but it, it might have even been before we moved to Connecticut. Well, a lot of our Christmases were kind of um, lonely ones because we lived in away from Trimont, so we couldn't really go home for Christmas. But we did go home one winter. We drove from Georgia, or maybe it was South Carolina, or maybe it, <laughs> we drove uh, back to Minnesota for Christmas, and our our parents were just thrilled to see the kids and. We hung stockings, and that was very special for me. I'm not sure that um, either Carolyn or Elizabeth actually remember it. When I was, I have an early Christmas memory of when I was little, I was in a pageant, and I think I was a sheep. I remember going to bowling alley with my mom when she would do her bowling league. I don't remember how old I was. I kind of remember when we lived in the Stanford apartments doing a pinata in the courtyard there. When we moved to Stanford, I don't really remember Christmas, but we moved there in January from um, Georgia. And um, when we got to Stanford, there was snow on the ground, which was really unusual for me. And um, we went to the manager's office and he had goldfish in his office, and I remember that. You know, like I really, really, really wanted this, um, I guess it was a Ferris wheel that was like made of plastic and you turn the handle and the Ferris wheel would go around with your little dolls in it and I just thought it was the coolest thing. And really, I love trees, so I have a lot of good Christmas memories with trees, decorating trees and putting Christmas music on. I remember going to Stu Myers to get a tree. I also remember one day I told Grandma when it was raining outside, your grandma, uh, my mother, that I was going to go outside and wasn't going to come back in until I made a bird's nest. The favorite, most favorite present I ever got was uh, when we had Atari. I remember my parents filled up a box with socks and also put the uh, Asteroids video game in there. And I remember I really wanted it, but when I opened the box, all I saw was a bunch of socks. I remember I, we, we lived a block from my father's store, 
and our house really in the rear was all country, uh, corn fields and beet fields and soybean fields, and a train track ran uh, through that side of town near my house so we could see the trains go by. And we used to use the railroad tracks as a way to go on hikes to this little creek and look for wild asparagus and look for unusual insects and things like that. So it was kind of a very simple life. I grew up really both in Stamford, Connecticut and in Norwalk, Connecticut, although I know I lived in places before that, I don't remember them. Um, I remember having a lot of friends at the Linden House Apartments in Stamford where I lived. I, my best friend was named um, Anna Rabassa, and she's one of the people that I named my daughter Anna after. She and I had a lot of fun very early in my life. Um, I remember one particular day that she and I ran back and forth in the large courtyard in Linden House pretending that we were birds and putting sticks in our mouths and going like this and saying, ah, and the sticks would come down and we'd put them back in. And we were having great fun pretending we were building birds' nests from one end of the courtyard to the other end of the courtyard, which to me seemed huge. I have no idea how large that land is, but when you're a little girl, it seemed like a giant yard. Um, and I know that there were some adults that came outside and yelled at us, get those sticks out of their mouths, they're dirty. I grew up, well, we lived in Stanford for maybe the first year or two, and then we moved to Daphne Drive in Norwalk, Connecticut. Well, we were in Washington, D.C., that would be Sam, and my first Christmas actually was also the first Christmas in our new house, um, or I think we moved into the house the Christmas before, but it was the first Christmas we were really there. And uh, my family was there, my mom and dad um, came, and my niece Anna was there. And um, my sister Carrie and her boyfriend um, Doug came later. I think they were visiting his family. Um, Anna was sort of in between her dad's family and um, Carrie at that point, but she spent Christmas with us. And um, so Sam was a baby and Anna was there. Um, she was nine, I think and um, there were a lot of presents, and um, I think Sam got blocked. So I think we bought too many, actually I looked back and we bought too many presents for Sam, and part of the reason, actually this is sort of funny, is Amazon.com had just started, and they had this promotion where every time you spent 10, you spent, bought something, they'd send you a $10 gift certificate because they're trying to get people to shop online. So I kept buying something for $10 for Sam for Christmas, and then they would give me another $10 gift certificate, and then I'd buy something else for $10, and they'd send me another $10 gift certificate. So I got him, like, a xylophone, and I got him a foam ball, like a Nerf foam ball, and I got him, like, some blocks, and it was like, so every time I bought him something, Amazon would send me another $10 gift certificate. And so um, that's why Sam had so many presents for that Christmas. My first Christmas with a kid, well, she was born in June, which meant I had a six-month-old baby. I was going to Norwalk Community College. I believe I was working in the bookstore, so I had a little money. And I remember going out to buy her Christmas outfit, and it was a little red dress with a little matching red headband with a little white um, flower. Um, and I remember being all excited to dress up the baby. Yeah. Uh, having a six-month-old definitely meant I was probably more tired and things were a little more chaotic than when I didn't have her. Yep, that she... Um, honestly, I think it made my Christmas to have my little six-month Anna in her pretty red Christmas outfit, white tights, red headband. Thought she might be girly growing up, maybe wear dresses, lots of stockings, not so much. Um, shopping for her was fun. I believe I bought her a high chair for Christmas. 
pretty sure. That's my memory of that. Christmas that I really remember was I was a little older and we went to Minnesota. I was probably in early elementary school and um, that Christmas all my relatives were there and it was really unusual that we went to Minnesota for Christmas. And um, we, Carrie and I each got Ernie and Bert puppets, which are probably really big collector's items now. And um, I remember my uncles like drink, and my dad all drinking beer and playing with the Ernie and Bert puppets. A favorite memory? I think going to Minnesota traveling.